A unique and ambitious project is being realized in the deserts of Kuwait, located on the shores of the Gulf at the entrance to Sabah al Ahmed Sea City, is Kuwait's newest marina, with a capacity to berth 410 yachts, engineered and built in country to five-star world-class standards. But to create and build the marina in the deserts, its engineers have had to face some tough challenges. Locating and sinking each of the 460 18-meter piles with pinpoint accuracy in water. Manufacturing floating concrete pontoons that are so stable that they give the experience of walking on land. Delivering all the power, water and services efficiently to each and every berth. The whole marina is designed and built from the ground up in Kuwait to be efficient and world-class with combined skills and engineering. The piles are the backbone of the marina. Everything flows from them. Locating the 18-meter-long piles in the water is the biggest challenge. These 650-millimeter diameter piles must be sighted with absolute precision. The engineers had to triangulate from the shore to place them deep in the ground underneath the water. But the machinery to drive the piles is massive. Directing the pile drivers to within a few millimeters meant the engineers had to use new ways of working together. There's no room for error. Once a pile is driven in, it's there forever. They had to get it right. First time, every time. The key was to bring the risk into open view and then sharing skills to make it happen. With a plan in place, the first pile is tentatively sunk. After a check, the pile is perfect. With the success of driving in the first pile accurately, they start to make the marina. Now, all they have to do is replicate the process to plant 459 more piles. With painstaking accuracy, it takes time to drive all the piles in. Next, the pontoons. The design calls for pontoons that give the experience of walking on land, although they float in the water. To achieve the result they want, the pontoon's design is an expanded polystyrene foam center coated with high-grade concrete. All the pontoons are different. Each is cut to an intricate and precise design according to the size of the berth and to create the overall shape of the marina. To ensure consistent quality and accuracy, the pontoons would all be built on site. This is the key ethos of the Sabah Al Ahmed Sea City project to be self-reliant with innovation. First, the pontoon is assembled in the mold with polystyrenes. All the expanded polystyrene is made in Kuwait. This is more efficient and environmentally friendly than flying in from other countries. Then, the concrete coating is poured over it. Kept moist as it sets to ensure maximum strength. After 72 hours, the pontoon is extracted using a straddle carrier. This mobile crane can maneuver around the molds to lift and position. Each pontoon weighs around 40 tons, but because of the volume of the polystyrene core and mass, they will float on water. The pontoons are launched into the sea. The biggest pontoons demand some of the biggest cranes available. It's a careful operation. One slip and the concrete skin will crack and break. Once floated in the water, the pontoon is gently towed into position. The gangways, which form the spine of the marina, are the first to be built. Carefully over time, the new marina takes shape as more and more units are installed. Everything in the building of the marina has been made in Kuwait, from the design and build of the molds to the polystyrene manufacture. Six months later, all the pontoons are locked and floating in place. Underneath, the gangway's ducts provide the means to run essential services to each berth, water and power. The services terminate at each berth with a bespoke pedestal. They're fitted with a universal plug to supply up to 250 amps and a tap for fresh drinking water. Able to moor craft from small leisure boats to 45-meter luxury ocean yachts, Sabah Al Ahmed Sea City's marina has been built to exacting standards. 
ready to offer a world-class service for Kuwait seat-going enthusiasts, marine industry and global visitors.